morning. I am going to practice probably turn on. Sorry about that. Uh, take the glare away. I'm going to do a couple practice problems again on this sheet. I'm going to post the answers. I'm just going to post pictures of these online. Uh, so I'll work through a couple of the non-Mendelian things today or with this video uh, so you can see how to do them. So I'm going to start with, I'm on this sheet, sex link crosses, number eight. It says hemophilia is a disorder when an individual's blood does not clot. It is caused by a recessive allele or lowercase h. The gene for hemophilia is located on the X chromosome. A normal man carries a woman that is heterozygous for hemophilia, or the genotype and phenotypic ratios of their offspring. So here you go. I've already written this down. So big H is normal, lowercase h is hemophilia. If you're not sure what hemophilia is, it's a blood clotting disease. People have a hard time clotting blood. So uh, if they get a cut, it bleeds a lot. Okay. So uh, I have the male. The male is X big H. He's normal. And remember, since it's sex linked, he has nothing on the Y chromosome to match up with that. The female with two X chromosomes is going to be X capital H, X lowercase h. When I complete this Punnett square, I get these results. So there you have it. Every time you do a Punnett square, well, really in any type of, um, so I can't get rid of that glare. In any type of Punnett square, it's always a 50% chance that it's going to be male or female, right? X and Y. Uh, but what do we have here? Uh, we have a genotype ratio uh, of one to two to one. One is homozygous dominant Two, excuse me. Yeah, homozygous dominant uh, up here. Then we have a heterozygous female. Uh, but then we have over here the males. There's a 25% chance of a normal male. There's a 25% chance of a hemophiliac male down here, X lowercase h1. Y, excuse me. Okay, another sex link cross here. This is number 10. It says in humans, hemophilia is a sex link condition and normal blood clotting is dominant to the condition, just like before. Uh, a woman with hemophilia marries a normal man. So it is possible for females to get sex sleep conditions if they have two of those recessive traits. It doesn't only affect males, it's just more common in males. Uh, but here we have a hemophilia female with a normal male. When I do this genetic cross, what are the percent chances that we produce hemophiliac individuals? So, if you look here, both of these males um, are hemophiliac. So we can assume that they have, every time they have a ch child that's a male, it is gonna be hemophiliac. If it's a normal male, cross here, my dog is coming into the picture, uh, it's, we're, we're gonna have heterozygous females produced uh, from that genetic cross.